Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. This is D, A, E, A, C sharp, E tuning. And it feels like no matter where you place your fingers on the fretboard, there's this beautiful chord just waiting to be found. So much so, it feels like cheating when playing guitar. And by the end of this video, you'll learn a whole bunch of easy shapes that sound wonderful in this tuning. The biggest reason for this tuning being so easy to play in is the repetition of these A and E tuned strings. So for A, and E. Which means chord shapes become incredibly easy in this tuning and we end up with this whole bunch of movable chord shapes. I just love the sound of this tuning. And it's just so easy to write in, like I said. So much so that one of the easiest songs that I've ever written that I've been happy with was in this tuning. And with this song, I wasn't even thinking about what key I'm in, what scales I'm using, what chords I'm using. I simply found a space and I let my ears guide me. So to give you some insight into that and to show you how you could possibly do something similar, um, I started with this shape in mind. When I heard this sound, I was like, okay, I've got something there. And I found that I could just... Even just move the bass note like that to come up with ideas. And because I like to play like more of a math rock kind of emo kind of widdly kind of style, I found I could put um, you know some melody stuff in between these chords. And it was really easy to just use my ear and even find what those melody notes were. It didn't take me that too much time at all. And then I moved that chord shape down here. And I thought, well, that gives a nice break in between there. And I thought it also sets up like kind of a pre-chorus. And again, because of these double strings, it was just so easy to find those um, melody notes to take it where I wanted to. And then I had this only another section to the song. It was this chorus kind of section and I had, you know, this D kind of sound in mind. Found this chord, sounds very grand, very regal sounding to me. And then I thought again, went with some kind of moody, moving bass line that way. Again, I wasn't even really paying attention to what chord shape it was. And again, we get these movable shapes. And I even use that same chord progression for the outro of the song. And again, I just had that kind of tapping part. Some inspiration there for you, hopefully. Check out the description down below for a PDF. I've put all of the chords there, as well as a whole bunch of chord progressions from other songs that use this tuning. And now you have armed with a bunch of simple, movable chord shapes that hopefully inspire you. The next question you might have is, well, how can I start to craft some kind of song ideas? Of course, you can work this all out yourself, or you can go and check out my Math Rock Essentials ebook, which contains a whole section on this tuning, as well as other popular math rock guitar tunings, as well as learning the essentials, the fundamentals of math rock guitar itself. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much to the patrons that support this channel, and I'll have another video for you soon. Goodbye.